All right, we just finished up Trim and Extend. Now we're going to work on Fillet. This is Fillet, it is not Fillet. Fillet is what you do with a fillet of fish or fillet of tuna or some kind of meat that is a fillet. This is Fillet. Most of the time you'll see these, uh, there are certain homes that there will be a nice radius corner on all the walls or sometimes you'll see a countertop that has a radius corner, and that's a Fillet. The easiest way to show that is two different types of fillets. One is with a radius and the other is without a radius. And all the fillet will do, we just use it to clean up our corners. F for fillet. Now the default radius on a fillet is always zero. And when you come to a corner like this and you want to fillet the corner, you always click on the side of the line you wish to keep. So I'm just select that side of the line, and I'm going to select that side of the line. And you can see I now have a nice, clean corner. We use the fillet command quite a lot when dealing with cleaning up walls. Wow, that's a lot bigger than what I thought. Let's do this. Actually, this command that I'm using right now, I'll get it to in just a moment. I just wanted to show you here we have the kind of temporary wall uh, join condition we would have in AutoCAD. We would actually draw it this way. We would come by, we would start F for the fillet command, and we would, with a few clicks and a few clicks, we would clean up our wall intersection. It can be used as a wall, this can be a duct, this can be, well, pipe doesn't turn like that. <clears throat> it could be foundation, it could be a sidewalk, uh, there's any number, it could be a, a trench in a slab for an electrical raceway. There's any kind of, of there's any, any kind of real world objects that a, a turning set of parallel lines can indicate. But here we are, we're working in an art, uh, interior design, a little bit of architecture, and so this is going to represent walls. So that's a fillet. I wanted to undo all that. The other option for a fillet is to specify a radius. <clears throat> and you specify the radius by beginning the fillet command, so that's F at the command prompt. And here's where we specify the radius. So we type R for radius, and let's say we want a 6 inch radius. These walls are 5 inches apart. Now let's make it a bit bigger, let's say 12 inch radius. So my first row, select the line, click on the side you want to keep and come back and there's a fillet. Fill it with a radius of 12 inches and come back and hold your mouse over that and you can see that it says it's a 12 inch radius. I'll show you how to clean up this inside line in a minute, but I'll show you the wrong way to do it right now. We start that fillet command again. Remember the last command that we used was a fillet. So if I push return, it'll start fillet right up again. If I have a 12 inch fillet that I use on both the inside and on the outside, that looks wrong. If I see this stuff in your files, and I will count against it. <clears throat> in addition to fill it, the uh, items don't necessarily have to cross in order to be to, in order to fill it them. They can be, they can not connect at all. So I can fill it these lines together, even though they currently don't touch. And strangely enough, you can fill it lines that are parallel, will automatically draw an arc. To close them over like that. They don't have to be perpendicular either. I draw a line and just coming through here. I get rid of these arcs. I'm going to set my fillet radius back to, I'm going to set it to something smaller. F for fillet, R for radius. Let's set it to two. Two units, whatever two units happens to be. I can set the, I can fill it right here. So there's my, there's my tiny little arc, but I can also fill it on this side of the angle, just like that. And there it is, there's another arc. I hold my mouse over it and you'll see, okay, it's got a unit, two units. We zoom in on this arc, stay there. It's kind of hard to see because right there, two inches. <clears throat> so the other option that we have instead of just a fillet is what's called a chamfer. And a chamfer, if you've ever seen a concrete column, like in a, in a parking garage, 
You'll always notice that they, could, they, they uh, chop off the, uh, the corners of the concrete column at a 45 degree angle. That's a chamfer. You'll also see a few countertops happening. And a chamfer, you can get to it right here, chamfer. That's the CHA at the command prompt. And its distances are established by first line that you select and second line that you select. So I'm going to type in D for distance since I'm going to set my distances. And let's set those distances at, let's set it at 6. And we'll set the second chamfer for distance at 6. And I'll show you what that distance refers to. Select the line, select the line. There we go. I'm going to use my stretch command to make sure these objects cross. CHA. It remembers my previous uh, distances. So I can come here and pick these objects. Now that six inch distance. is offset right across here. And you can see my uh, my coordinates are trying really hard to pick that up. There we go, boom, six inches. So if I select different distances, what's gonna happen? If I set my chamfer distance, and I want my first distance to be four inches, D for distance. My first, it says chamfer first distance is four inches. My second one is eight inches. The first line that I pick on is going to have that distance four inches pulled back from the natural intersection. And the second distance, the second item I click on will be eight inches pulled back from that natural intersection. If I change my distances both to be zero, for starters, this works exactly like a fillet with a radius of zero. But you can see that's four inches, that's eight inches. That's what a chamfer command does. Now, there's another object here that says blend curves. Truthfully, I've never used this. Um, I just haven't. Um, we're talking about uh, closing up and making nice pretty closes on rational B-spline units and things like that. It's not the kind of work that we uh, typically get involved in. <clears throat> if you guys want to play with it, you go right ahead. Me, I've never used it. I've been doing this for 25 years, and maybe I'm just not in the right industry. If I worked in industrial design, maybe I'd use it more often. Okay, so that is fillet and chamfer. All right.